Andre Mangu, Marketing Manager for JPS. So, a lot of people believe that electric mobility is just about cars, but e-mobility actually extends to any transportation device that is powered by a battery source or by the grid, such as cranes, buses, scooters, even wheelchairs. Uh, all falls under the umbrella of electric mobility. But the common use that we know is, is electric vehicles or electric cars. Hello everyone, my name is Dion Nugent. I am the Director for Business Development here in JPS. Electric vehicles does provide an opportunity, but that is not the only reason. We see electric vehicles as the mode of transportation for the future. We cannot De uh, we cannot in any way disconnect from that. Why? Because it means a lot for Jamaica in terms of our own national goals to impact the, you know, the, 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 the adverse effects of climate change. We believe we need to be socially responsible. We recognize that we need to play our part in terms of reducing the carbon emissions that are impacting our nation and in fact the world. So JPS has been leading the charge in terms of researching uh, the, the range and the efficiency of some of these vehicles. And we can tell you that while they are expensive now, the cost for maintenance in terms of changing oils and so on actually works out in the long run. Uh, so yes, it is a little bit more expensive now to invest in an electric vehicle. But if you add up the cost of the fuel at the pump and the rising cost of fuel and the maintenance costs uh, you would find that over time it would be more it would be cheaper to actually own an electric vehicle hi i'm richard gordon manager for business development projects in jps okay so the jps charging stations which we call charge and go um, they're located at the three level three chargers or people call them rapid chargers they're located in kingston in Texaco, new kingston in jacks hall and in Anshore, Montego Bay. Those are three level three chargers. We have the largest fast charging network in the island. The remaining chargers currently in service um, are in Harborview, just by the roundabout, Port Antonio, Brands Bay, um, Manor Park by the Total Gas Station, Discover Bay is going into service, Savannah Lamar, Dunbar's River is going into service, um, and then we have Mineral Heights to follow as well, and the grill. Of course, you can just drive and use it, but you're going to need a cell phone, um, you need a smartphone, you need the Charge Lab app, which is the app we use to manage our EV charging network. So you download the Charge Lab app and link your credit card to that app, and you're good to go. You go on the map on the Charge Lab app, you find that charger, and that's where you start your charge, you stop your charge, you get the receipt for your, your transaction, and at the end of the month, all the charges that you did for the month will be charged to your credit card, and you'll see that statement as well. On average at home, people charge for like three, four hours. But in the public space, you know, driving out, driving to the North Coast or wherever you may be going, we find typically on a fast charger, persons will spend 15 to 20 minutes to give them enough charge to get to where they're going around the island. Um, what's the time you'd spend on, on, a, on a rapid charger, like a level two charger? Really, that's determined by the time you're gonna spend doing what you really went there to do. It's with shopping or eating. You're gonna spend four to five minutes, that's the time you spend on, on a, a quick charger, a level two charger. Typical electric car. Um, there's no typical car, but let's just say um, like a Volkswagen uh, ID4, which is you know somewhat of a small family car that has a range of 280 miles. Um, that's enough to get you to Moby and back. Uh, we have our, our or BYD station wagons that have um, 500 kilometers of range that can go to Negril and back um, without having to worry yourself. It is cheaper. The, the cost of the fuel is cheaper. Fuel for fuel, electricity is one third up to 50% lower than the cost of liquid fuels. And that's a calculation that we have spent time working with third parties to, to actually undertake and confirm. And I can tell you, those persons in Jamaica who have electric vehicles are saying like, wow, they just find it a very economical vehicle to operate operationally. And they are saying that they just love the idea that they don't have to fill up 
a tank at the gas station. JPS is the only person or an entity in Jamaica that's licensed to sell electricity. We are in a new sector. It is in development. So what is happening right now is that the regulators and the government ministries are working through what those protocols will look like. One of the things that's very important to us is that we want to promote the growth of new businesses and new persons and new entrepreneurs in the sector. So it is very important for us also to demonstrate where the opportunities lie and therefore we welcome persons into the sector even uh, even despite the constraints that may be appearing with our license. So the creativity of business models that we are looking to promote and we have been working assiduously around that is in an effort to promote new entrants to the sector, new businesses, new entrepreneurs, let's make it happen.